Up first, the kill test. Doug? To see what kind of lethal damage your halberd will do, we'll take your halberd and deliver thrust, hacks, and attempt to dismount that dummy with its hook. Fill you up first. You ready for this? Yes, sir. Let's do this. I spent a long time making that thing, and I want to see it work. All right, Phil, your spear tip is sharp, not only at the point, but its edges also. Your axe head, not only did it dig in and break the ribs, it went in and cut the internal organs that were behind the ribs. And your hook blade, it dug into the ribs and dismounted the dummy from the horse. Overall, your weapon here will kill. Thank you. Good job. All right, Jonathan, you're up next. You ready? Let's do it. My halberd's a brute. I'm excited to hear Doug tell me it'll kill. That'll make my son happy. I want to see some blood and gore and guts. All right, Jonathan, on the thrust, your spear tip right here penetrated deep and created a deep wound channel. Your axe head here, pretty much it was just the tip that penetrated into the chest and also into the diaphragm. Your hook broke the ribs, got into the organs, and dismounted the whole dummy from the horse. The most important thing about this whole thing is it will kill. All right, bladesmiths, next up is the strength test. Ben? To test the strength and durability of your halberds, I will be chopping into this corrugated sheet steel. Remember, this test is all about what the steel does to your halberds and not what your halberds do to the steel. Phil, you're up first. You ready? Yes, sir. Well, Phil, your halberd held up perfectly. All of the faces on it are still razor sharp. There's no deformation that I can see. Overall, very well done. Thank you. Jonathan, you're up. You ready? Get your sound. Well, Jonathan, on the hits, your edges held up pretty well. I don't see any problems with them. The one thing that does concern me is the blade's taken a bit of a bend to one side here. But the edges and the point seem to have done pretty well in the penetration. The whole thing held up, still solid. Well done. Phil, Jonathan, you've both done some amazing work on your German halberds, and they perform very well in our weapons tests. However, in this arena of competition, only the best weapon can win. And our next Forged and Fire champion is. Phil. Congratulations. You are a new Forged and Fire champion. Jonathan, unfortunately, your weapon did not make the cut. Ben Abbott's going to tell you why. Jonathan, at the end of the day, your halberd was heavy, more difficult to wield, and took a bend in the strength test. And for those reasons, we have to let you go. Jonathan, please surrender your weapon. I feel honored to have competed with Phil and the other two guys in this competition. Had a good time. If you do compete in this, be ready. Have your skills on point, because you will be tested.